What's up guys? Chris Johnson here coming at you with another video. A long awaited video. Uh, Capsule Corp Collection. Part of Dragon Ball Collectors Global. Be sure to check out my page on Instagram and uh, my YouTube channel. Check out Dragon Ball Collectors on Facebook. And uh, first up I want to apologize. It's been a while since I did a video. Um, it's been pretty crazy. Honestly we had that big fire last month. Uh, the Caldor fire here in Northern California and uh, we actually packed up at one point and thought we were going to have to evacuate. It was pretty close. It was only about uh, a five minute drive up the freeway for where they were starting to evacuate people. So it's uh, been a heck of a month and it's just been busy. I've actually had these two figures waiting to be unboxed and everything for like a month and I just haven't had time, energy, all that good stuff. Uh, so we're finally getting back to it. Uh, please forgive me for my messy workspace. I think you guys know I'm a working man, so I got uh, all my paint and everything all over, and there's painter's tape. I'm in the middle of like a thousand projects as usual. Um, so I do painting, leather craft, copper artwork. Um, I also have a, an axe throwing business as our second business, so I'm a busy guy. I got a lot of stuff going on. So I just wanted to apologize for the delay in this. Hopefully we can get back on a more regular schedule for all this. But, be that as it may, up first, this uh, Vegeta Uzaru. You know, honestly, I've been waiting to get this one for a long time. As you guys probably know, I am a big Vegeta fan, and uh, I'm excited to have this piece, because I think he looks awesome. Not to mention, he's the only one that transformed and his clothing went with him, which is pretty cool. Not really sure on how that worked, but you know, I'm down. So, without further ado, let's go check it out. Oh, and this is a, a Bandai piece, Band Presto. Um, it says it's a creator creator piece down here, made by Bird Studio. So, fingers crossed that it's good. I don't know which one of these variations I would prefer, so I'm kind of excited to see which one is which since it doesn't seem to say on the outside. Obviously the box art is a little so-so. <laughs> uh, pretty bad Photoshop of uh, the character in front of a red moon, but whatevs, right? Sometimes we can't uh, choose what we get, so let's check it out. Uh-oh. Snuggler. I want to rip the box. It's always tricky sometimes. There we go. Yep, definitely a version A with the dark blue. Alright, let's get this guy opened up here. Foot stand up. Oh, did I get it open? Yep, there we go. Alright, I need a sharper blade in my X Acto. Kind of came, I don't know, I guess it saved a little room for the arms to be not attached, but. Uh, it strikes me as a little amusing at the same time. So let's go ahead and pop these all together. And the usual, you know, they're just keyed in a shape and you just pop them in. These at least seem to stay better than my Majin Vegeta who had both arms like this. And man, those arms fall off all the time. Kind of drives me crazy. All right. Tail. All right, check this out. Here's the. Let me see how close I can get while it still focuses. Yeah, come on, camera. Not our best friend. So there you go. You get a pretty good look on him. It's kind of mid transformation right here, which is pretty cool. 
so he's not 100% full ape yet. He's still got some, <laughs> he's got some crazy sideburns going on right here. I don't know if you can see those super well, but right, yeah, right here. He's got some crazy sideburns. I definitely like the battle damaged armor, but again, the paint is super flat on this. Whoa, hey, there's that problem I was talking about. The, all the arms popping off. Come on, really? It's gonna be like that, are you? There we go. So yeah, super flat with the painting. Like the mold is good. There's lots of like little marks and damage and everything, but they only put like one coat of paint on it. You know? So everything looks really flat. So it's probably another figure I'll be touching up at some point. Give it some more definition. Some more depth, because everything is just one flat color. So I think it's a great sculpt. He actually stands pretty well, even on his own. Let's see which leg the boot goes on. Probably this guy, yep. So even better there. You know, size-wise, again, not that big. Five, six inches tall. But, uh, again, a really pretty nice sculpt. But as seems to be the case, I mean, look at the muscle definition, everything, like really nice sculpt, but the paint job is just lacking. So I think a lot of people forget just how important that part is because it really affects the quality of the final piece. What do you guys think? Do you think painting is a deal breaker? So, you know, if it's a poor paint job, but a good sculpt, are you still happy with it? Or is that something you would criticize as well? Because, I mean, again, somebody has to approve it, right? Like before it goes into production. And they have to find that middle ground between the labor to do painting and the cost involved with that versus what they can make on the figure. So, I don't know. But for me, personally, I like a lot more definition and depth in the figure. I mean, does it look like the box? Yeah, it looks like the box. It's not... Not a lie there, but I do think it could use a little help there. So let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty happy with that piece. I'm definitely happy to get it out of the box and I can get it on uh, <laughs> on display finally and uh, hopefully get some new shots and quotes to go with it. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the piece. I don't remember what I paid for it. I get most of my figures off of Amazon. It's just convenient and being a Prime member not having to pay for shipping is super nice. Um, but yeah, overall, nice piece. Just needs a little help with the paint. Awesome, guys. There's the Vegeta mid-transformation Ozaru. And uh, I'm going to pop this video up on Instagram here shortly and YouTube after that. And uh, I do have another figure today I'm going to be reviewing. So I'll probably post that in the next few days as well. So hopefully you guys can check that out. And uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for checking it out, guys. I'll be in touch shortly. Vegeta says goodbye.